Hello kids! So ngayon naman sa video na ito, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano mag-solve ng multi-step routine and non-routine word problems involving multiplication and addition or subtraction. So mag-aaral tayo at magsosolve sa math. Muli kasama ninyo si Teacher Bean. So, for our word problem for today, this our problem. Nelson can plant 143 pechay seedlings in 8 pots in a day. While Alex can plant 96 pechay seedlings in 13 pots in a day. Who can plant more pechay seedlings? Okay, so let's first analyze and read the problem. So basahin natin mabuti at unawain. Okay, comprehend natin kung ano yung tungkol saan yung hinahanap or tungkol saan itong word problem. So, dito, si Nelson daw ay kaya makapagtanim ng 143 pechay in 8 pla uh, plots in a day. So, in 8 plots in a day, kaya niyang gawin. So, 143 pechay. Si Alex naman, kaya makapagtanim ng 96 pechay seedlings in 30 plots in a day. So, sino daw sa kanila ang kaya makapagtanim ng mas marami? O, sino sa kanila ang mas maraming natatanim? So, yan yung ating aalamin. So, after nating ma-analyze yung problem, let's know what is asked for in the problem. Ano yung hinahanap o tinatanong? So, dito, who can plant more Pechay seedlings. O, sino daw yung mas maraming matatanim na pechay seedlings? Sunod naman, let's identify the given or uh, the number given, uh, given number. So, ano ba yung given facts or informations? So, we have here 143 pechay seedlings in 8 plus in a day for Nelson and 96 pechay seedlings in 13 pots in a day for Alex. So, yan yung ating given numbers or information. Okay, so next naman, let's identify anong mathematical operation yung ating gagamitin. So, ano? So, we will use here multiplication and subtraction. Ito yung ating number sentence. We have here 143 times 8 equals n. Okay, so mumultiply natin yung 143 sa 8 plots na in a day for Nelson and then we multiply din natin yung 96 times the 13 plots equals n tapos yung magiging sagot doon isusubtract natin yung magiging answer para makita natin yung difference in between at identify din natin kung sino yung mas maraming na itatanim kaya imumultiply natin kasi si Nelson daw 143 pechay ceiling in 8 plots so para malaman natin yun imumultiply natin yun Ganun din yung kay Alex. Okay, first let's solve yung kay Nelson. So, 143 times 8. So, 8 times 3 equals 24. Carry 2. 8 times 4 equals 32. Plus 2 is 34 8 times 1 equals 8 plus 3 equals 11 this is our answer for Nelson next is for Alex okay, solve natin naman yung kay Alex 96 times 13 3 times 6 is equal to 18 carry 1 3 times 9 is equal to 27 Plus 1, 28. 1 times 6 equal to 6. 1 times 9 is equal to 9. Then, ang susunod, we will add. Okay, add natin yan. 8, bring down 8. 8 plus 6 is equal to 14. Carry 1. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Plus 9 is equal to 12. So, the answer is 1,248 for Alex. So, 
So, ito yung sagot kay Nelson. 1,144 ang Pechay Seedlings na natanim niya in 8 plots. Then, si Alex naman with a total of 1,248 Pechay Seedlings in 13 plots in a day. So, dito ang pinakamarami ay yung 1,248 na kay Alex. So, who plant more Pechay Seedlings? So, ang sagot, ang pinakamarami ay si Alex. So, the answer is, Alex planted more pechay seedlings than Nelson. So, para malaman naman natin yung difference kung gaano kadami yung tinanim ni Alex than kay Nelson, ang gagamitin natin operation or gagawin is subtraction. So, subtract natin yung natanim na total ni Alex kay Nelson. Nelson. So, 1,248 minus 1,144. Ngayon, so, subtract natin yung 1,248 from Alex to 1,144. So, 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Pwede hindi na natin siya lagay. So, the... Difference is 104. So, yan yung difference nung kanilang inaning pechay. To analyze and solve the problem, you can do these steps. Okay, so on the next problem naman, this one, we have Mang Tony harvested 12,500 ears of corn from each of the 12 plats of his farm. While Mang Ambo harvested 8,540 ears of corn from each of the 18 plats of his farm. So, who harvested the more ears of corn? So, sino doy marami na harvest? So, let's read and understand the problem. So, dito, sinasabi, si Mang Tony daw nag-harvest siya ng 12,500 na corn or ears of corn from sa, sa 12 plots yon ng kanyang bukid. Si Mang Ambu naman daw, nag-harvest siya ng 8,540 yung kanya. Of corn sa loob ng 18 plots naman yung kanya. So, sino sa kanila ang mas maraming na-harvest na corn? So, first, what is us for in the problem? So, ano tinatanong dito? So, the farmer who harvested more ears of corn. Sino sa kanilang dalawa ang mas maraming na harvest? Ano yung ating given number or information? So, we have 12,500 ears of corn from each of the 12 plots. Kapag 12 plots, yung 12,500 ears of corn. Iyon yung kay Mang Tony. Yung kay Mang Ambu naman, 8,540 for 18 plots. So, ano operation yung gagamitin natin? From this problem, we will use a multiplication and subtraction also. We will write the number sentence like this. We have 12,500 uh, times 12 equals N and then 8,540 times 18 equals N. So, now let's solve the problem. Okay, so ito yung kay Mang Tony, ito yung kay Mang Ambo. So, we have your 12,500 times 12. 12,500 yung corns, ears of corn sa 12 plots. So, ito muna, imumultiply natin. Okay, 2 times 0 equals 0. 2 times 0 is equal to 0. 2 times 5 equals 2 is equal to 10. Carry 1. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Plus 1 is equal to 5. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Then this 1. 1 times 0 is equal to 0. 1 times 0 is equal to 0. 1 times 5 is equal to 5. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. And 1 times 1 is equal to 1. 
Then, ang susunod na step natin, we will add this one. Okay. Then, add. Bring down. 0. 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. Carry 1. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Plus 2 is equal to 5. And, bring down. 1. Okay. So, this is our answer. For Mang Tony. 150,000. Next, for Mang Ambo. Multiply again. 8 times 0 is equal to, ito muna dito ay nagsisimula sa ating tens. 8 times 0 is equal to 0. 8 times 4 is equal to 32. Carry 3. 8 times 5 is equal to 40. Plus 3 is equal to 43. 8 times 8 is equal to 64. Plus 4 is equal to 68. 1 times 0 is equal to 0. Times 4 is equal to 4. 1 times 5 is equal to 5. 1 times 8 is equal to 8. Okay. Ito ay nagsisimula sa pangalawa nung pag nagmumultiply. Bring down 0. 2 plus 0 is equal to 2. 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. Carry 1. 1 plus 6 is equal to 7. Plus 8 is equal to 15. So, the answer is 2, 3, comma. 153,720. So, from there, our answer, ano yung mas malaki? So, 153,720. So, si Mang Ambo ay maraming mas na-harvest more ears of corn than Mang Tony. Okay. So, para makita natin yung difference nung inanin nilang dalawa, gano'ng kalaki yung inanin ni Mang Ambo kay Mang Tony, anong gagawin natin operation? We will subtract 153,720 minus 150,000. Track natin. Zero. Ito, 153,720 minus 150,000. Compare natin yung difference. 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. 2 minus 0 is equal to 2. 7 minus 0 is equal to 7. 3 minus 0 is equal to 3. 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So, ito, pwede, pag mga nasa unang 0, pwede natin siyang i-remove. So, the answer is, at yung difference, 3,720, yung difference nung naani. So, mas marami yung kay Mang Ambo. Ito yung difference nung ani ni Mang Ambo kay Mang Tony. So, hope kids, natutunan yung ating lesson for today. So, if may tanong kayo, pwede kayong mag- uh, type lang sa ating comment section at if nagustuhan nyo itong video na ito, please click the like button. So, yung mga hindi pa nakasubscribe sa akin channel, please consider subscribing at click mo na rin yung notification bell para mag updated ka sa mga learning videos. At kung gusto magkaroon ng mga copy ng ating mga answer sheets or worksheets, mag-join ka na rin sa aking FB page. Search mo lang Teacher Bean. So, maraming salamat. Till next time with Teacher Bean.